I'm going to go over my ground mount uh, that I used on my solar panels. I have 12 sets of panels up. And this is the first one I put up. I put this cross member here to add support because this was 2 inch standard pipe. Most certainly not strong enough. I filled it with concrete. That helped a little bit. And I had to put some support on the ends. Uh, a lot of them have these same uh, super struts, but the smaller struts, they go out about five feet. Uh, they're all, well, not all of them, but most of them are constructed with the, the real super struts that are 10 feet long. I use them for cross members. So my first attempt was this one. My next attempt was a heavy wall, two inch pipe. And I thought, nah, that's gotta be better, but no, that wasn't any better. So I didn't like that one, but I put a uh, another pipe on the inside and <laughs> filled that one with cement too. And that's okay, that turned out to be okay, but that's a lot of extra work. So uh, the next one also, same way. We got two heavy wall pipes. And I use the same cross, the super strut, or the strut there, five foot long each. And of course, super struts going across, you know, two going horizontally across to support the panels. There's three panels on this section, three panels on that section on each one. And I've really kind of liked the super strut idea. So, uh, my next panel, I went to conduit, three inch conduit. And it's crap, they're expensive. 10 foot long. They're all mounted in cement, by the way. Uh, approximately three feet down, 12 inch holes. And this is probably really close connection I'll show you the difference but again they're all the same with that strut going up there and the super struts going you know there's two four six super struts you know holes drilled up here don't uh, I'll show you the bracket that I use that are just standard uh, strut brackets that come with each one of these metal ones this out of all the pipe is the best the, th the three inch heavy wall conduit it's a toss-up and i'll show you in just a second the toss-up then i tried because these are kind of i think they're like 170 dollars each the two and a half inch i thought i'll try the two and a half inch heavy wall conduit and that's almost as good but not as good as the three inch but they're about 140 dollars Again, the same construction here going with the, the strut and the super struts, the uh, six super struts and the same bracket. Uh, kind of like that idea because these are adjustable. Adjustable. Another two and a half inch heavy wall conduit. But this is a toss up. I made these. These are six by six treated lumber. Again. 10 feet long, three foot buried, all in concrete. Just treated wood going across here. These darn things. And this is a 10 foot. Well, actually, no, this is the 12 foot. This is a 12 foot two by six going up there with the super struts going across. Because those always work well. I like them. Uh, it's a toss-up. I really like these. These things are freaking solid. So I made three of them. Uh, just to try them out because I was going to put them... I had some uh, Harbor Freight panels that had a ground fault in them and I was going to isolate them so there would be nothing touching the ground. But as you can see, I did not put any Harbor Freight panels up here because they're the least e efficient. Again, 6x6, six six, same way. Uh, these are... Two by six by ten. 
really like them. I painted them before I put them up. And my other three panels, other three sets are the same way. They're two and a half inch because, you know, two and a half inch was cheaper than <laughs> three inch. And I figured yeah, I can get by with two and a half inch minimum. And again, three foot in the ground, concrete, and they're all constructed the same way. But again, I would say my, my favorite is this one here. These are in about $45 each. You know, two by sixes, it's actually very well. You can't really adjust them. I guess you could if you put different boards down. You could move it because these are pivoted right here. I just drilled a hole through it. And so these are, can be easily turned. And that's how I turn them to mount them. Uh, anyway, I think I have to admit, I think these wooden ones are my favorite. Now, what's going to stand up the longest? Of course, <laughs> this, this heavy walk conduit is going to last the longest. But going back to my favorite, I'd have to give this number one and the three inch heavy walk conduit number two. Really tied, really. But as far as expense, this can be done at half the price of the three inch. Easily, maybe even less than half the price. That concludes. Thanks for watching.